Welcome back to my channel. It's your baby girl, the what? The black girl. Kana O'Shea. You know the vibes, you know everything. We bring jiggy jiggy things, we bring good news, we bring you know, good vibes to our channel. So, yeah, guys, how have you all been? How has this week been? So far, so good. Please don't mind the background noises, your neighbors, children, and all of that. But, anyways, guys. I'm looking good. Oh, a round of applause for my beauty. <laughs> I want to thank my new subscriber. Ah, guys, help me thank God. Help me to follow along. Help me bless the name of the Lord because I had like seven new subscribers added to the subscribers that I had before, and I'm so grateful for the seven people. It means a lot to me. That simply means that I am growing and people are watching my video. That's a lot for me on my own part. So yeah, guys, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Guys, let's get right into the video. My son, the gods of YouTube have accepted you. YouTube, thank you. You know, person. So guys, Today's video Attitude One Oh One Attitude has been a lot For me, I won't lie I don't know about other people But So my attitude has started saying I did not have the privilege, you know, of Taking hold of it until when I graduated And guys I know go lie This word of O-Y-O or your lower You are on your own He means a lot Ha! I am on my own, guys. My mom is still there, my sister is there, my uncle, people are still with, and everyone. But guys, I am on my own. A lot of things have been happening. A lot. Now when they say that when you are 20, you are ready, you know, you are ready there. What? When you are 20, you don't have what you are doing. One. When you are 20, you don't have money. Two. When you are 20, and you are just, hey, hey, mm, make I know just they talk. Because, hmm. anyways, guys, I am doing this job called the Wardrobe Arranger. Like I said, you all should go check my business page on Instagram. It's the Wardrobe Arranger. Do well to patronize or tell a friend to tell a friend about the Wardrobe Arranger. What's the Wardrobe Arranger about? We help people in rearranging or reorganizing their scattered wardrobes. Basically, that's what we do. You don't have time to arrange your wardrobe. It's a scattered. We help you to do that. We ease you of the stress of um, looking for clothes that you are meant to wear for the week. Instead, we help you to rearrange your clothes in orderliness that when you need any of your outfit, it's easy to just pull out, take out, iron, and if they're ironed already, bring them out and just wear them. Anyways, guys, back into our topic. Adulthood 101. I really want to hear you guys' opinion about adulthood. How adulthood has been for you because outside is not calling my name anymore. Anybody that wants me outside, get ready that you will pay my bills. If I don't worry, my transportation, I will do it. But you see, eating, do it because Nigeria is not smiling. Everything is expensive. If you know that you've not yet hit that age called 20. And you're still under your parents, and your parents are still like taking care of you, paying your bills, doing this, doing that. Let me not lie to you. Take hold of that opportunity. Because, hey, you remember I was saying, to party the big B, when it have hit jackpots, are you come and join us in this level we are in? Mm, don't say I didn't, I did not want you guys. Not to the sweet, at the same time, it is. I don't want to say bitter. Let me use the word enduring. It is enduring. Because I feel like, okay, I'm not saying when you get a job, everything will be sorted out. But like when you get a job, you now know that, okay, this is you. Okay, this is for you. You now start setting boundaries. You now start knowing necessary things to buy and unnecessary things that you shouldn't have. Because you see when you are not working and nothing's going on, you buy things that are stupid. I am a victim of that. I was talking to a friend of mine. I think the day before yesterday or so in the video call we were talking he saw the bags i had lined up and then was like how many bags do you have and me i didn't even know so i counted it and i'm like i think i said eight or so yeah i think i have eight bags don't worry we'll get there that we have more than but until there we still have eight bags and the next day i was like ah ah you didn't enjoy you're buying bag in this economy baby girl you are buying bag <laughs> 
And I'm like, why would I not buy bad form? I said unnecessary things and all of that, but that's what I don't I don't hold. Mm, English. That's what I don't do is teaching me at the moment. You don't buy unnecessary things. If it's not needed, it's not needed. Don't buy it. Stay in one lane. I don't have taught me to stay in one lane. Be a go-getter. Have what you want to do and do it well. It doesn't come out well. There's always a try again period. You do it again. Adulthood has been fun. At the same time, adulthood has been teaching me a lot. Adulthood, one on one, number three. I don't know if that's correct, but like, let's shout out to my other sister, Cholu Chamsi! Guys, my sister is always saying that I don't know how to spend money. Yes, I won't lie, I actually don't know how to spend money. I just go, just give me money, and I'm like, okay, this is what I want to spend. This is money I'm spending. And then I'll just go and just buy things and not eat up. Tell myself I need to price like there's sometimes you know you know sometimes you go to the market you want to price something but because of how you feel the economy is and all of that you just say make I no price to my market make sure no good they shake me make sure no good they sweat for me for our mind for our house eh? now nah, one get away where yellow top <laughs> your yellow shirts come my shop and all those ish so sometimes I don't like pricing people's business I just buy it as you tell me. And then I get to, I'm standing like, okay, so how much did you buy this? How much did you buy that? And I'm like, oh, I bought this for this. Oh, I bought this for this. And then she's like, you went to the market with so and so. I'm like, and this is what you show for it. Like, what's that? And I'm like, hey, that's what I can buy. And she's like, think, all right, think. You don't just spend money anyhow. It's not, it's because you're not working. Because you're not picking money for it. And then I'm like, calm down. I'm shouting to my, I don't want to start me that, but. Do not get unnecessary things. Yes. Yeah. Don't go and spend your money in the market like you have one tree at the back of your house that you just go there, uproot, harvest the money, and then go to the market and just go and do hula, just flange your and do penkilimes. <laughs> like just say penkilimes. Just to make sense. I don't know that stuff with that. But I really want you guys to tell me what I don't know that stuff you guys in the comment section. You all should do that. Last but not the least of what adulthood has taught me. Adulthood has taught me that there's nothing you do that you don't make God the center of it. Hey! Guys, if you do anything out, contrary to the will of God, anything that you do that you don't put God in it, my dear, that's a waste. It's always, and you know, it's always painful to us when we do things and it doesn't come out the way we want it. Or we do things and it's just somehow for us. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like this season of my life, this adulthood of my life has taught me that God has to be the center of everything. Whatever you do, even down to going to the market to buy those bags you want to buy, to buy those shoes you want to buy, to buy those anything. Tell God. If you are like me that don't know how to price, tell God, Holy Spirit, I'm going to the market, teach me what to say, how to price. And I tell you, it's working out for me at the moment because I talk to God now and I'm telling him every single thing. Down to the fact that I was meant to change my toothbrush, guys. I was meant to change my toothbrush. It was time for me to change my toothbrush. And I didn't have money with me. But I was just telling the Holy Spirit, I need to take my, I need to change my, it's time for me to my, change my toothbrush. So my, uh, one of my elder sisters, I have two elder sisters, shout out to Auntie around the day. I went to the supermarket together and then she was buying things she wanted to buy for I actually followed her because she wanted to buy things for herself. And then I was like, Ma, I want to, I need toothbrush. And she was like, okay, take it. I was like, okay. Because you know why I was shocked? Because, don't get me wrong there, she can buy anything for me. But because we didn't come to the supermarket for myself or we didn't come to the supermarket for the house, we came to the supermarket for her. So whatever we're coming to get on the supermarket was for her, not for any other person. So may I just tell you that, ma, please, I want to change my toothbrush. And I was like, okay, thank you. Do you need to see the joy in my heart? Like, I was like, God, thank you, God, thank you, because I've been thinking that how I like my toothbrush, and I didn't have money. Yes. And it just happened, and I'm so grateful, and I'm happy. So, those are the little, tiny things we think that we should not interfere, God, in my day. 
interfere God, like put God, push him, tell him. Because he's your father. If you make him your father, he doesn't have a choice. He knows that you're his child and he's going to do it. So, enough of my, <laughs> he's already looking like I'm preaching or anything. You get the memo, you get the point, you get what I'm trying to tell you guys. I don't do the one on one. So what? That's a lot. A lot and a lot. So guys, we've come. <laughs> I know you guys are going to miss me, but we've come to the end of this video, of this episode, of this, you know how it is, you know the vibe, you know everything, I've been good news to you guys, I've been vibes, I've been jiggy tense to you guys, I'll make you do a jiggy jiggy, heavy heavy, ah, I don't know how to dance, so please, <laughs> thank you very much for staying tuned with us to this very point, I'm so grateful that you guys gave me the privilege to call you people, my corner people, it means a lot. Alright, guys. So yeah, do not forget to do what, like, share, comment, and do what, and subscribe to the what, to the Black Girl Corner. I love you guys so much. See you same time next week on this channel. Bye bye.